Caro can defense, advance, short variation with 4.nf3, e6 5.b2 and d7. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. e5 closes the center and controls the important d6 and f6 squares. Bf5 develops the bishop where it controls the important e4 square, black can play e7 e6 next, without trapping the light squared bishop on c8. Nf3 develops the knight and defends the d4 and e5 pawns. e6 defends the d5 pawn and f5 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. b2 develops the bishop, protects the knight on f3 and prepares to castle. And d7 develops the knight toward the center, controls the c5 square and attacks the e5 pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. It is a great move. 
This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. It is good. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of.